Hello again, whiskey friends. All right. Got another episode here. Let's do another tasting. Today, we have Redwood Empire Cast Strength Lost Monarch. This is a boo rye coming out of California. Let's get a fresh crack. Break this one down. See how we like it. Thanks for joining, everybody. Off of here, suffocating the bottle. Get this fresh cork pop. Now we need some uh, big Vic energy for this one. Ooh, that's a good pop. All right, so shout out, Big Vic. If you haven't uh, checked out Big Vic, go check him out. Backyard, Big Vic's backyard BS. Thank you, Vic, for procuring this bottle for me. Really appreciate the help there because I don't know how I would have gotten it any other way. Now we're gonna pour this into the tulip glass. So, so this gets the tulip treatment. Now, typically I just use the tulip glasses on you know things that I really want to dive into. You know, typically some some higher end stuff, not to call this high end or not, but I had some whiskey friends over last night and we managed to use every Glen Karen in the house. So that is currently running in the dishwasher which left me with no glassware but this to do the tasting. So we will uh, make the most of it. But I have no one, no one's Glenn to use to shout out to cheer. So I'll just cheers to Big Vic and everybody. Thank you for joining. All right. So breaking down the Lost mon Monarch here before we get into it. So if you haven't tried this before, there is a non-cast strength version of the Red Empire Lost Monarch. This is the cast strength version now. Both of them, though, are boo rise. And that just means it's a blend of rise and bourbons. So that's what makes it a boo rye. What makes it interesting to me, you know, I did some looking up of the stats on this one before I jumped on this tasting because I just wanted to make sure I understood what was going on. I thought the rye component to this is MGP. I'm still not convinced it's not, but maybe we'll find out in the tasting. But when I looked it up on the website, it said... Um, 94% rye, 5% malted rye. So only 99% rye and then 1% like wheat. And then the bourbon's got wheat in it too, supposedly. So not only is this a boo rye, it's a four grain boo rye. And then on the back of this, they describe it as 55% straight rye, 45% straight bourbon. So leans more towards the rye than the bourbon. The other interesting thing that caught my eye is it's actually age stated at three years but then you go on the website and you learn that it's three to 12 years there was 26 barrels in this batch and it just came out in august 2022 all right so redwood empire i going into this i was already a big fan of their lost monarch product i thought that was their best product of the three and then also these amazing labels they all have this majestic artwork to them so it's almost worth the label in itself sometimes when they do they make that cool of artwork for it all right let's get to tasting that's enough background we're gonna go into the nose then we'll break down the taste see if we recommend it or not price wise on this one before we get in uh i think it was 80 to 90. so 80 to 90 dollars for a cast strength whiskey that's got some 12 year old stuff in it also got some three-year-old stuff in it though we'll see Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Dang, that leaps. That leaps from the glass. Uh, first thing I'm getting, uh, cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon. Ooh. Oh, interesting. All right, this probably gets too specific to my area. But graters, mint, Chocolate chip ice cream. Ooh, yeah. Man, that mint ice cream. 
gosh, if you ever had graters too, man, get some graters. Hey, it's delicious. But it's got, when I say chocolate chip, like it's not like full chunks of chocolate. Like someone had like a giant block of chocolate and they beat it up with an ice pick and then they throw it in the ice cream. So good. Yeah, uh, rye. The rye does dominate this. You know, it's 55% rye, but I'm getting lemon, citrus now. Really comes across rye forward. Slight craftiness to it. Um, with Redwood, I don't know the three-year part of it. I don't know if it's their distillate now, if they're still sourcing. Um, it's a little unknown for me when it comes to Redwood, and I'll come back to a story on that one. Yeah, that ice cream, that sweet cream, mint, chocolate. Essentially just keep getting the same things on the nose. Pretty excited, though. Pretty excited for the taste off of that nose. I think this is going to be, this could be pretty good if it just matches that. All right. In for the taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, that was a really good first sip. I'm going to go in for one more sip before we start describing this thing, but already, already having a good time. Mm-hmm. Bam. Ooh. That's a rye. Man, I wouldn't even call it a boo rye. It's a rye. The rye part of that is definitely the dominant part. All right. We'll break it down. The way I like to break things down, talk about what I'm getting on the front of the palate, mid palate, and then the finish. Uh, moment it enters the mouth, mouth feel stood out. It is oily. It is oily. I don't know if that shows up there. Yeah, look at that. Look what it's doing to that glass. It's just abusing that glass. Look how much dis look how distorted my face is. Now, up front, boom, that nose part came right through. That ice cream note was so dead on. It was mint ice cream, mint chocolate ice cream. Right, right in the front. Just sweet, flavorful. Oils just took over the mouth, too. Mid palate was a cinnamon bomb, followed by a lot of citrus notes, lemons. Uh, and then the finish. I'll go back in for the finish. Mm. Okay. No, the finish is a. Uh... Pretty much a continuation of that storyline. So this, when the cinnamon dies down, there's a vanilla note that ramps up. And then the chocolate, the mint chocolate comes back. Comes back with a vengeance. But then it just hangs. It's like an Andes mint now when I say that I'm a finish. So not quite the, the chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Now it's like an Andes chocolate mint. Like literally. Like one you get from like a restaurant. Finishes a... Uh... Not as long as I might have expected based on how oily this thing is, but it's good. When it's there, it's good. Yeah, just a cinnamon bomb in the middle still. Got the citrus notes. Maybe a little clove there. Maybe nutmeg, actually. It's got a lot of spices going on right at the mid palate. The sweetness definitely dies down as the experience goes on, turns into a spice bomb in the middle, and then you get kind of that darker mint chocolate at the end. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, geez. 80 bucks, 90 bucks. That's probably one of the better values I've, um, I've bought in a while, honestly. This is really good.
Yeah, you know, that last sip I just had, maybe I got some youthfulness out of that last sip. It, it emerged a bit more as I'm acclimating to it. But even then, it disguises itself because it's a rye. And I don't even know when it comes to that three-year bottle or barrel, you know, since they're age stating it. Hey, thank you for age stating it at three years. I think you're doing yourself a disservice somewhat, but I love the transparency. I wish you said three to 12 years in the bottle. But the, uh, I don't know if the three year though is a bourbon or a rye. And that makes a, that makes a huge difference. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is a recommend. This is a, this is a recommend. If you see this, it's worth it. Uh, I don't know about the other ones. I only got the the last Monarch. I didn't get the cast strength rye and I didn't get the cast strength bourbon. Um, I was just okay on the pipe dream when it came out, but maybe I'll give the cast strength version a, a chance now because the blend's good. And I think that that does it for the, the tasting here of a uh, Redwood empire. Just leave it at that recommend. Uh, you know, I was just in California, you know, just a couple weeks ago and I wanted to visit them, but I don't think they do any like tours or anything yet. So I don't think you can, you can visit them at the distillery, but Hopefully they open that up soon because this is a this is some place where I'd like to visit. There it is, Redwood Empire Lost Monarch. Don't be afraid to pick this one up if you see it. Thanks for joining again, whiskey friends. We'll see you next episode. Bye, everybody. <laughs>